right so next after neulon octaves basically this uh, particular uh, concept it was discovered before neulon octaves only but i am discussing it not in a series right so the next type of discovery which was given by uh, if i have to name him that is d chan it is c o u r t coat yes this is that so basically d chan cortes he was a geologist as well as mineralogist so this is his profession he is a geologist as well as mineralogist mineralogist okay right he was born in 1820 almost 1820 and he's died in 1880 right just 60 years of us fine so he has given us the stable in the year 1862 so he has discovered in 1862 when was he born he was born 1820 till his 1880 so among this particular period he has given us this list what is said is he has taken this uh, we in see geologists drawn white paper isn't it so he has taken that paper he said he whatever elements he has discovered he has written on the form of a cylinder so he said this is a easy way to under, uh, understand so whatever elements that is in 1862 he has arranged elements in the increasing order of their atomic weights so let us write that 1862 elements were arranged elements were arranged in increasing order of atomic weights atomic weights done so what did he arrange he has arranged them in the form of a cylinder so this is also called as telluric screw or it's also called it as we call it as telluric screw or it is also called as telluric helix we also call it as cylindrical arrangement cylindrical arrangement or it is also called as spiral arrangement spiral arrangement so basically all this uh, whatever telluric helix or telluric sp uh, this in spiral arrangement was given it was not published till mendeleev has come and given his assumptions so, so this was not an accepted law but whatever elements is found he has arranged according to the increasing atomic mass weights see here lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen all are increasing atomic mass this also oxygen fluorine but here uh, oxygen fluorine okay 8 9 10 not there because it is an inert gas element and then sodium magnesium aluminum silicon phosphorus sulfur sulfur chlorine potassium calcium so everything was arranged in increasing order but proper he could not submit his papers it was, so it was not accepted right so just remember telluric screw was given by uh, d chancotes this was a uh, chemist um, he is not a chemist he is a geologist as well as mineralogist then he whatever he has got he has arranged according to their at increasing atomic mass and placed it in the form of a cylinder that white paper which was folded right so this is a thing and much not much information now we will come into or discuss into the next important law that is mendeleev's law so before that a small thing that is lutomeyer's curve right so uh, next important uh, concept which was given by luthemeyer so luthemeyer was a person who has worked with mendeleev so after this we'll be studying about mendeleev so these two got, uh, along with robert benson he they have worked together and prepared the modern periodic means not more than periodic table mendeleev's table so what he did is luthemeyer basically he has considered two important concepts what he said whatever elements available at that time he has picked up two important criteria that is atomic volume as well as atomic mass so atomic mass was taken as x axis as ordinate as well as atomic volume taken on the y axis as abscissa done so what he did is when he has arranged he started arranging <coughs> so that is right um when elements were arranged in the increasing order arranged in the increasing order of atomic masses right the elements with similar property fell under that particular peaks and uh, elements were arranged in increasing order of atomic masses elements with similar properties similar properties uh, fell under 
one slot means uh, they they occupied one slot one one slot means here if this similar properties this is similar properties this is similar properties this is similar properties, similar properties like that now so what luther mayer observed is when he has considered two quantities atomic volume and atomic masses he has observed or the arrangement of the elements based on that they he has seen both the peaks as well as troughs okay it means like if i have to speak in the form of a wave he has he has observed two important things what is that one is the peak one is the trough means the depth the crust and the trough this is the crust part the higher part and the trough which is the lower part or you can say peaks as well as troughs the depth part so what he said is what his observations let us write one after the other so the first important thing he said all the peaks whatever are there let it be lithium let it be sodium let it be potassium he said all the peaks are occupied by electro positive elements peaks are these are the first assumptions which he has given us so assumptions given by luther mayo who is a chemist he said peaks are occupied by electro positive elements so electro positive elements right which we are now naming by according to mosley as alkali metals isn't it that then he said the depths whatever are there depths what are the depths depths are here the carbon depth is here zinc then iron right so he said the depths are occupied by if i have to say iron zinc all these are transition elements which we are speaking isn't it so let us write are occupied by means if i should not say transition elements here yeah, i have to say okay um, when i compare electro positive elements uh, the metal part then transition elements the inner core materials isn't it so we will write that because i want you to be clear transition elements done fine so this is what he said and next important thing uh, whatever elements is he is just he could represent in the form of graphs but not much given uh, information given to us but when next after when mendeleev came the thorough explanation with certain limitations also were given which we will be seeing now